Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? It's Peachy P, and you're listening to the Cannabis Infusions Podcast. People, places, products, and the cannabis community. So let's talk and come smoke with me. <coughs> what's up? What's up? It's your girl Peachy P with another podcast. I kind of like doing them visually. I don't know why. I just kind of feel like I can just, I don't have to get dressed or get cute or anything. I can just look as ugly as I want and y'all don't know. (laughs) But welcome, 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 welcome. (laughs) Y'all know I'm silly. Welcome to the podcast, y'all. Welcome to my new subscribers, my old subscribers, and people that's thinking about subscribing. Thank you guys so much for listening. I do appreciate it. Um... I guess Sunday is the day for the podcast. So today is Sunday, September 4th, 2022. And I am just excited, excited about all the new things that are coming up. If you need any updates, don't forget to go to CannabisInfusions.com and also follow me at Big Boss Peachy and at Cannabis Infusions on our Instagram and Facebook pages. So give you guys a little update today was a crazy ass week i'm not even gonna lie like it was just bananas a lot of shit was going on but i still got the work done okay um i really want to thank you guys for supporting everything on the page um as you guys know um this week i did film for the cannabis infusions music video show but before we get into that, y'all got y'all already know I definitely got to um let y'all know about the strands that I was smoking this week. Um Frosty that was smoking Sunset Octane, of course, anything Octane is definitely smoking. Um I had some smoking ass OG too, but I don't know the name of it. I don't even think he had a name for it. It was just OG, but it was really good. Um, I had some gelati shouts out to easy eats y'all follow them on, um, Instagram. Uh, she got some good pre-rolls. Okay. Um, and I had the gelati pre-roll. Um, they like, um, they're called, um, woods. Like these are like the, um, firewoods. Um, and um, it was the gelati strain. It was pretty good. Um, it was two grams in there. Um, glass tip, you know how that go. Um, but it was awesome. Very nice smoke. Um, also right now, um, I just got some white runts. Um, I've had this strain before, but, um, I like how the white runts makes me feel because it's a nice little exotic, you know, for Sunday with, with a little drink or whatever. I'm actually not having wine today only because, um, yeah, I couldn't sleep last night. Um, has anybody else been waking up at like 3 a.m.? Like I literally been waking up at 3 a.m. every day for the past week and it's like freaking me out. Like I have no idea, but I just been getting up and just been up like, like I've been trying to go back to sleep, but it's just been weird. But enough about that. <laughs> so this cannabis infusions music video show I'm too excited about because at the end of the day, like, you know, I did shoot it outside and it was cool. I'm gonna have some bloopers up too um this week before I um I finish the show. But thank you so much to everybody that are going to send their music video in. And that have sent the mu- their music videos in. Oh my God, the songs are so bomb. Like, and I can't wait to share that with you guys um, because, you know, we we do need to see these local artists. So don't forget, like, y'all check out the website, please. Because at the end of the day, like, 
I just really feel that everything that people ask me is literally on the website. And I'm really trying to push this site, y'all. Everything is on there. The links to the podcast, to the visual podcast and music videos and events as well. Um, everything is on there. Um, also, it's going to be some voting going on with this Cannabis Infusions music video show. So y'all definitely uh, look for updates on the website, CannabisInfusions.com. Um, I'm always going to be reminding you and stuff to check it out on the Instagram and the Facebook as well. But um, I did want to mention too um, about uh, the website as well um voting is on there like i said all of the links are on there all the services are on there too if you're living in chicago like you need a music video i will gladly shoot it just dm me um and if you want to be on a podcast as well this is not visual that's cool you know just hit me up too dm me hit the number on the website um, and we could talk, you know, if you guys want to do business, let's get it. You know, this is grind season. So we got to make sure that, you know, we dotting them I's and crossing them T's when it comes to businesses and stuff, you know. Oh, one more thing, too. Um, if you have any events like it don't have to be 420. Like if you go on the website, you'll see that I have links for non 420 and 420 events so if you want to get on these events or you want people to get on your event and buy tickets and stuff like that you know my audience then you definitely need to send me it so i could post it you know i used to do the um bulletin board i still do the bulletin board but at the same time you know, I want to, like I said, keep it safe on the last couple podcasts because we've been having people that's been getting raided and stuff. And um, I'm pretty sure it's not my people, but you never know. Um, but I, I still am taking submissions for this bulletin board. So if you want your um, if you want your event or your business you know what I'm saying? To be advertised, send me the logo, send me information about your business, send me information about your event that you're having. Cause I will definitely post it. Just let me know. Um, it's all about working together in the community, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I think I pretty much gave you guys all the updates, but um, I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody is still getting smoky out here. I'm hoping that everyone, you know, taking care of their bodies and stuff like that, because, baby, y'all know the fall is coming. And I don't know if uh, if you guys are in different states, different countries. Shouts out to you guys for listening as well. Um. But depending on where you live, like me, I live in the Midwest, so I live in Chicago. I actually live in the suburbs, uh, south suburbs of Chicago. And when the weather like starts changing, especially around like August and September, like usually like for the past couple years, like it's been it's been OK. Like in October, it's been like warm sometimes like it just start getting cold like a little bit you know what I'm saying like it ain't it's not as cold as it can be but it starts the weather starts to change like it starts getting like 60 like basically hoodie weather and like when I tell you like I hate the simple fact that when I go outside it's so cold like my body just can't take it like I'm a May baby so we just like I'm not going to say we're the top of the spring, but we kind of like around where it gets warm. In the past couple of years, like it's been pretty, it's been rainy on my birthday. I'm not even going to lie, but I've been having good birthdays. Like, you know, everything has been going good. So, I mean, I can't complain, but it's just like, man, I do want a sunny day for my birthday. One of these, you know, one of these days, but I'm just yap, yap, yapping y'all. <laughs> about my birthday um 
So let's talk about this music video show because I'm really excited about it. Like this is like really the first I'm not going to say the first time that I've been excited, but this is kind of like the first time I've done something that I feel like super duper excited about only because I love music. A lot of people do know that I um I still make music. If you guys do want to hear some of my music, it is on Apple Music. Um, it's on pretty much every major platform. Uh, just look up PGP. And I really, really like love the fact that even though some of them aren't my peers, the creativity that goes into these music videos are just awesome. Like, so I just I'm excited for you guys to see everything and for you guys to check out the show and stuff like that. So I'm excited about that. Um, Teamwork makes the dream work. You know what I'm saying? So you... You know, I actually, I, well, right now at the moment, I don't have like any employees or anything. This is just me. I'm doing it all by myself. So you guys just can imagine the pressure and it's not even like that bad of a pressure. It's just keeping up with deadlines. Like if anybody out there that, you know, doing their own business on their own, like you understand, like, I'm not going to say my pain because this isn't, this is like slight work to me because I love doing this. I love saying my thoughts. I love doing videography, music, anything in this entertainment. And I love supporting fellow artists or people in my community. So I, this is, I absolutely love doing this. It's not, um, it's not like a chore to me. And a lot of people that are following their dreams and doing what they got to do, it's kind of hard out here because it's like, you know, some people got jobs, they working, you know what I'm saying? And they trying to fund their business at the same time. And it's just like, really, really, it's stressful. And I feel like, at that point, you know, the less people that are involved, you know, the better it's, it might be, but it all depends on what you're going in. Um, and it all depends on what you're trying to do. Like for me personally, like I had a partner, but you know, it didn't work out. I mean, as it does for a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? But the groundwork that goes into this, you know, is a lot. And I feel like, you know, I, I thank God for all the experiences that I've been through, especially the bad ones, you know, especially what I thought was bad experiences, because to be honest, all the experiences that I've had creating this, um, creating this show, uh, cannabis infusions and everything, um, all the experiences that I've had has really like shaped me into being who I am today. And it's it definitely has helped me and I've learned a lot of things and um, to everybody that's that was in my life that helped me start the podcast, whether they shared anything or whether they just watched, you know what I'm saying, or any type of support. You know, I really thank everybody because whether we get along today or not or whether we fell out or not or or whether you don't know me or whether you do know me and we still cool everything I'm really appreciative because literally everything shaped what it is today everything you see that's cannabis infusions was because of literally the blood sweat and tears that I put in there you know and a lot of people um like doing things by themselves and I'm not bashing anybody but at the same time you have to be able to know when to spread yourself I feel like okay so look this is what I feel I feel like once you get to a certain caliber or a certain level you're gonna need some help like that's just not that's just kind of like growing bud like yeah, it gets all cutesy, you know, when you first put 
um, the seed in, then the seed pops, and then you're like all excited. But then you got to remember once that seed pops, you know what I'm saying? And it gets to a certain height, you have to repot that. You got to start giving, you know, the plants nutrients or enzymes or whatever, or however you plant, you know, you have to start that process. And a lot of people are like, well, yeah, I'm going to grow my own, bud. I'm just going to, or yeah, I'm going to do my own business and I'm just going to, well, you know, it's okay to ask for help. It really is. And a lot of people don't like asking for help because they don't want to feel like somebody helped them make anything. But at the same time, you got to think about a lot of successful people. It's not just them. You know, it's it's them, the partners that they have, you know, because I've always been taught like you should get around people that know more than you. So that way you can expand your mind. And I feel like that's that's pretty accurate. You know, being able to have help and have help in an area that you don't know. I feel like that is a blessing because it's a lot of people that are in areas that they don't know what to do. And I feel like, you know, it's really detrimental to the business. So. I don't mind, you know, getting help or, or listening to people that know more than me and stuff like that, you know, because it really helps develop you, your character, you as a person getting to know somebody that's already in the field, you know, you might gain a mentor or anything like that, you know, so any, everybody, you know, that's anybody that's has their own business or thinking about their own business, kudos to you, because that's a really big step to take. You know, especially if you have kids and stuff. So teamwork definitely makes the dream work. OK, especially if somebody is supporting your vision. I feel like that is a very important thing. And I feel like, you know, it shouldn't be overlooked. You know, I know sometimes, you know, we get into our modes as far as being CEOs and bosses and, you know, we have our vision. And that's OK, because we got to stick to the vision. But. Also make room for those people and things that can build you higher, you know, that can give you more insight. Because to be honest, I feel like it's kind of just like being an artist. It is being an artist, a CEO, because at the end of the day, like, you know, this is your vision. This is you. This is what you're presenting to the world. So it's OK for somebody to step in and be like, hey, you know, I can see something that you can do better. Now, it's to your own discretion if you want to do that, because, you know, I've heard some stories where, you know, people come in and be like, hey, you know, and then they try to, you know, tell you what to do and all that. But I don't think a real person that really supports you is going to do that, you know, and sometimes, you know, we think about, well, you know, I don't want anybody to take my ideas or I don't want anybody to try to stump all over me because they know more than me. But I feel like if you if you literally, you know, be able to open your mind and know that the universe is sending you somebody to help you, you should just sometimes it's OK to, you know, learn because I feel like part of being a leader is learning as well, you know, and doing the work as well, you know, yeah, it's, it's a lot of bosses that, you know, feel as though that, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll, I I'm teachable and everything, but when the opportunity comes to be teached, they don't want to be teached. And they don't want to be taught. I'm sorry. What teached? I'm smoking y'all. So <laughs> don't mind my grandma, but taught, you know, and that's kind of a touchy subject because, you know, we feel sometimes doing this because me, I'm, I'm three years in and somebody versus like 20 years in, you know, they I'm not going to say they're going to look at me as an amateur, but they know a lot more than me. And I'm definitely cool with that. You know, I'm going to pick your brain. Hey, what's this? What's, you know, am I doing this right? L listen to my stuff, you know, and you got to be confident and bold. You can't just be overly confident to the point where, 
oh, well, I don't have to do that anymore. You know, I can just people are just here about me. No, because at the end of the day, like just because you feel like everybody knows you already. And this goes to me too, included like, just because I feel like a lot of people know me don't mean that there isn't a lot more people that need to know me and who else is going to do better advertising on myself than myself. Okay. But yes, teamwork, teamwork definitely makes the dream work. You guys and I, and good luck to everybody that's out here doing their thing. Uh, you know, videographers, artists, uh, CEOs of any type of company, you know what I mean? Um, people that just have the vision of where they want to be. Good luck to you guys, you know, and I'm definitely rooting for you. All of that. Um, if you guys want to comment on this podcast, you know, with your business so other people can go on your site or your Instagram to check out what you got going on. It's not going to hurt. Trust me. It's not going to hurt. But, you know, I, me personally, I don't really like being on the team, but I've learned to embrace that part. And ever since it's been, it's been awesome, you know. Um, just being able to meet more new people and more closer to my soul trap. So, but yeah, y'all just hit that like button, share this podcast to go on the website, cannabis Um, I actually just released a new video on my YouTube. It's the PGP YouTube. P E A C H I E P. Um, I'm just definitely going to separate the work that I do from the show and the podcast and stuff. But um, yes, just shot one. Shouts out to Key, baby. That's my girl. She's from New York, a New York rapper and stuff. She's pretty dope. Um, But I met her uh, when I was actually at school and... And I graduate September 30th, by the way, you guys. So, (laughs) um, I met her in school and we just clicked, you know, and she all about her business. Uh, she was telling me how, um, she, uh, was on the empire show and everything. Cause she's an inspiring actor, but she does music as well. And I like her music. I like her style. It's real New York to me. Like, even though I've never been to New York and I want to go and I'm planning on going, um, for next spring. And I'm just so excited about it because like, she's a pretty dope artist. And, um, when we shot the video, it was just fun. Like the video was fun. It didn't feel like work. Uh, the only thing about it, it was like super windy. <laughs> so like in between shots, like she would be like standing by on, uh, because we did a, a scene. If you uh, go watch the video, which it is out now. Um, if you go watch the video, right. And also I'm premiering it on the music video show. So, um, I'll let you know about that date next week, but it was so funny because we were shooting. It was so windy and like, it was crazy. She had to switch the glasses she had on. They was blowing off. It was just like, it wasn't even as windy until we got over here, but we was on the beach. We shot, uh, some shots on the beach and we did some shots on, uh, downtown by the school actually. And it was pretty awesome. Like if you guys get a chance to go see that video, definitely go on my YouTube Go on my YouTube. Go on my YouTube. <laughs> it's Key Baby featuring Lord Shock the Block Freestyle. And Shop by Me Peach Peace. So y'all go check that out. Um, I've just been trying to create. I just feel like I don't want to work and then die. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like it's more to life to that. So that's why I'm doing it. And yes. So right now, the strain that I'm smoking on right now is called I can't even remember what this strain is called white runts y'all to be honest I have smoked so many different type of strains just doing this podcast and to be honest I probably had most of these strains maybe two or three times 
Um, so, you know, for the, everybody that wants to try different strains, you just in the game, you just coming in the game, you want to try some flavors, you know, you want to smoke or you've been a smoker and, you know, you want to know some new strands. I always, you know, try to give you guys more insight on things. Um, as far as these white runs, though, it's, I like the way it smokes. Um, if you guys know me already, if you've been fans of this podcast already or supported, I don't even like saying fans because fans seems like an insult to me now. Like, I bet you a fan, like, you know, but <laughs> uh, supporters, yes, definitely supporters. You guys know me. I'm a real, like, I'm an OG girl. That OG that I had earlier this week, oh, Baby, it was smoking to me because I love me some OGs. Me, the exotics, I feel like, I don't know. They might have a little bit too much chemicals in them, but I don't know because, I, you know what I'm saying? I just don't know. Now, some of these exotics, of course, well, most of them are hybrids. You know what I'm saying? And But, you know, some companies do add a little razzle-dazzle on it, you know? So be careful, especially when smoking like me. Uh, I try to stay away from the, t the tobacco now that I'm older. Like when you're young, you can smoke the tobacco all the time. Like it's it don't even bother you. You know what I'm saying? But we start getting older, like 30s, 40s, 50s and stuff. You got to slow down on that tobacco because it really does mess with your throat and your teeth and all that stuff. So. I've um, actually been smoking these hemp wraps. Um, I do like uh, the raw. Well, to be honest, I me personally, I don't really like the raw cones because I don't like the way they burn. I just don't. I would rather smoke the um, pink cones from Blazy Susan because they the way they burn and the way they make me feel like I feel like I can put any type of bud in there and it's just smokable. Like it smokes like it, you can feel it. Like even if it's like a subtle, a subtle bud, you know what I'm saying? You can still feel that like the way that they burn, you know, it, it gets you right. Now, I'm not going to say that I don't smoke tobacco as like fully on only because I'm kind of like weaning myself off of it. So um, right now I'm actually smoking a sweet uh, Fonto leaf. Um, and Fonto leaves actually are real leaves like um, at the reggae smoke shop. I actually have uh, an episode on there on YouTube at the Reggae Smoke Shop uh, on the Cannabis Infusions YouTube. Uh, the guy that owns that smoke shop, he actually makes his own Fonto. So, um, and they're actually pretty good. So you can actually get them. It's pretty natural. Um, but the only thing is, you know, they wash them with the uh, tobacco and stuff. But, you know, um, it, it, it all depends on you and what you want and how you feel and what you want to do. Don't let anybody ever influence you into being like, okay, well, I smoke these and I smoke those. And I, you know, at the end of the day, people smoking. So people doing vape pens, people are doing automatic dabs, you know, whatever you feel like you want to do, it's not going to matter because at the end of the day, we all intake, whether it's gummies you know, whether it's um, tinctures, you put it in your food smoothie, whatever, you know. Don't let nobody clown you because you smoke a certain thing, you know. Don't let nobody try to influence you either because what's good for your body is what works for your body. You know, we're not going to say that all this stuff is good, but we we know that the plant does something and it heals us in a certain type of medicinal way. Whether it's exotic or not, whether it's medicinal or not. And most of them, some of them medicinals be extra smoking. Okay. Um, 
as far as dispensaries, y'all know how I roll about that. Um, I kind of, I don't know. I mean, I've had dispensaries, but you got to be careful because, you know, they got the Delta 8 and they got the regular real strain and they got, you know, all of these different factors. So, you know, I'm all about educating the people and letting you guys know if you're going to smoke, just be careful. You know, I'm not saying dispensaries are bad, but just be careful and do your research and know what you're getting. You know, I might start doing the product of the week this week. Um, I'll think about it. I'll see. But uh, I used to do the product of the week um, on the website, CannabisInfusions.com. And I will have different products on there that you can use or different type of hemp wraps or papers or different type of tobacco substance, you know, that you can if you're just starting out. Also on the Instagram, Cannabis Infusions, I do have a video. It's it's really old, though. I should repost that um, about how to roll if you're rolling a backwood. I'm actually going to do a new video now that I'm thinking about it on how to even roll up, period, because it's a lot of people that I know that don't be rolling up. I'm not going to put you on blast, but how you smoking all this time and not rolling up? But I ain't going to judge them, though, because I used to be like that. <laughs> I used to have like people around me to roll, you know, roll for me and smoke. So if you want to learn, you know, how to roll, I am going to come out with a video, you know, of rolling and just, you know, just to show you guys how I roll. And I learned from a lady that I knew and she was so like feminine. I loved her. Like she was the best, <laughs> but she, the one that taught me about, uh, etiquette for women and smoking. And I, and you know what, to be honest, <laughs> um, there is, I feel like there is a more clean, subtle way to roll up. And, and there is another way you can roll up. It's different ways that you can roll. And the way that I was taught was really clean, you know, have the grinder there. And now that, you know, that I'm older, like I understand why she did everything. Because now I have my grinder. I just used to, I mean, I still kind of like grind it up with my fingers. But if I have like my nails done or something like that, you know, I try to make it easier on me, you know. Um, I don't smoke blunts anymore, so now I have to have, like, scissors. But I still do have the little blunt cutters or whatever, you know, just to make it a little easier and faster and more efficient, you know. But shouts out to everybody doing a thing out there. This is Peachy P. Please follow me at Big Boss Peachy on Instagram, Peachy on Facebook, P-E-A-C-H-I-E. Y'all want to email me, let me know, comment on here, like this podcast, share it. Don't forget this week, Cannabis Infusions music video show. I'm so excited. Y'all, we're going to talk about it on the next show. And don't forget to check out Key Baby's music video. Shout out to Key Baby. Okay, my little New York girl. Um, And... Thank you guys for listening. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We have fun up in here. And <laughs> um, for my returning subscribers, I love you guys. You already know. Thank you guys for the support. And I'm so excited about everything. And y'all enjoy the rest of you guys Sunday. Get some rest, smoke, chill, and just enjoy it. Happy Labor Day as well, too. Um, to everybody and I'll see you on the next podcast thanks for listening to the Cannabis Infusions podcast for more information on this podcast and how to listen and watch go to www.cannabisinfusions.com people, places, products and the cannabis community come smoke with me <coughs>